I decided to do passion twists on my own hair. I started off with freshly washed hair. I deep conditioned it prior and then I blow dried my hair section by section. Blow drying just makes it a lot easier to part and to maneuver. So then I sectioned my hair off in many sections. I didn't count, it's not very even. My daughter did the back. <laughs> the best thing tip that I found is to pre-wash your hair with vinegar and I found that from Naturally. Um, she's on YouTube and Instagram and you'll have to check her out but yeah if you pre-wash the hair I'll link her video um, I think it's like a minimum of 30 minutes I did an hour it makes the hair so much softer and it um, just conditions the hair it does tangle it a little bit but it was worth it okay so um, you just begin section by section this came with a crochet needle and the hair came with six packs of hair 18 inches long and it also came with some little hair jewels that I never ended up using I purchased the tight hold by Talia Waheed I think is how you say it and that is what I use to help lock my hair and the extensions together I started off by taking the crochet needle and you loop it through the rubber band section so you go under the rubber band and then you hook two I was using two strands of hair two strands of hair onto the hook and slide it through you only want to pull one side all the way through so then you pull that side all the way out and make sure that you have the hair somewhat even you can have it a little of hair onto the hook and slide it through you only want to pull one side all the way through so then you pull that side all the way out and make sure that you have the hair somewhat even you can have it a little uneven just to make it look more natural on the ends um, and then you take your hair in the middle your your natural hair and divide it into two sections and then just split it up into the twist from there I'm pretty much taking a little bit of the lock gel on my fingers with almost every rotation you want to make sure to twist your hair individually before you twist them together so if you see my motion I'm kind of twisting the hair and then twisting it together and then twisting the next piece twisting it together and that just helps it stay tighter and stay locked and that's really all you do over and over and over and over and over until you get to the end of your hair then um, you just use the lock gel and twirl it at the end until it all locks together. And so yeah, I'll just show you again how that was done. And I hope that, that makes complete sense. This was super easy. I am not a hair person, so for me to be able to do it means it's super easy. Um, in hindsight, I would go back and next time I'm going to try it without the rubber bands because the rubber bands do end up showing especially as your hair slides and grows um, and yeah I will update a, my Instagram with how the hair is looking now so if you follow my Instagram just check out my stories in the next coming days and I will give you an update on how it holds up I'll have my Instagram below if you have any questions please let me know and please also be looking out for my giveaway I have three extra bags of this hair and I would like to gift it to somebody I only use three bags in my whole head so um, it's enough to be able to do your whole head with these types of twists or even braids if you wanted to or you could crochet it um, directly in and just have it out so if you are interested um, check out the details below and enter the contest and thank you for watching. If you like these types of videos, please thumbs up, leave comments, let me know so that I'll continue to make this type of content. Check out the description box as well as the details in my blog post and I have a link to all of the products that I use to create this hairstyle and you can click on that link and find it all right there. Um, it was all purchased on Amazon, makes it very easy, shipped to your home. You can, you know, 
not have to go inside of a hair store at this moment and do your hair.